let's jump into things. We want to get Discord into desk thing. So to start things off, we need to open up desk thing. Then we're going to assume real quick that you've already followed the previous tutorial. You can see here that I already have the device set up and I already have Spotify set up. This will be a little important later. Well, what we want to do first is we want to head right over to downloads and we want to scroll all the way down to where the Discord app is going to show up. If for whatever reason it is not there, then you can just really quickly make sure that the server is fully up to date and then refresh. If that still doesn't work, then you can go and hit that add app button and then you want to type in it's ripbroad slash desk thing dash apps. That will be down in the description. You want to hit add repository and after a little bit of time, you should see that the discord app has been added. So now that we've confirmed that we have the Discord app available, we want to hit download latest. This will begin the download process and get the sweet, sweet Discord onto our desk thing. You want to hit initialize app and then voila, you can see that we currently have it here. So now we need to set it up and get them both linked. Thankfully, underneath the tasks tab in settings, you can hit run and this will walk you through it. So the first step is to click this link and create a new Discord app. This will lead us right to the developer application panel where we can hit new application and then give our app a funny little name. We're gonna call this desk thing for obvious reasons. You need to confirm you're a human, which I am definitely one, and given enough time, it should be like, yeah, okay, I think you are, and you can continue to this dashboard. So we can head back over to desk thing and continue to the next step which is the redirect URL. So we can copy this URL and you can see we have to navigate to OAuth and add a new URL. So let's do that, OAuth, and then we hit add URL and we paste this in here and then make sure we hit save. Next, we can hit complete and see that we need the client ID. Going back over to the dashboard, well, there it is. We copy it and now we have our client ID. Paste it in here, we can mark that as complete. Then we need the secret. This takes a very small amount more, which means you have to hit reset secret. And if you have two factor authentication set up, you have to enter that in. So I'm just going to skip over that. And now we have gotten that right there. So we can hit copy and then we can paste that into desk thing. Keep in mind, I'm deleting this app as soon as I'm done recording. So this doesn't mean anything. All right, you can hit mark complete. And then after a little bit, you should see discord open up and you can authorize it here. All these permissions, feel free to read through them. It's basically letting desk thing view what call you're in and give you controls like muting and unmuting. So we can hit authorize right here and you wanna make sure that says localhost and then voila, that should be it. Discord has successfully been authorized with desk thing. You can carry on your day or you can continue watching and see how to customize it, how to add chats and how to make it look so much better. So first thing is going to be opening up the emulator, right clicking the taskbar icon and hitting open client. We're going to navigate to discord and now I'm going to join a call so we can see what we're working with. Just to make sure things are working, I'm going to quickly test, um, there we go, it's deafening and it's successfully muting, which are both very good signs as we continue. Okay, now let's get to customizing. Open up the Discord app and hit settings. And now we can scroll down and we can see a few main options. We have the left panel and the right panel. Setting the left panel to clock and the right panel to the current chat, we can hit save and look at that. We can see the list of all the guilds that we're in. And if you scroll down and open desk thing, we can see all of the channels. Quick note, you'll notice that uh, the chat is not actually currently loading and that is because of a bug in Discord that will be resolved later, but currently you'll notice that you cannot open them. That is okay, that is normal. Expect an update here soon that will fix that. I feel right now is also a good time to say it's all open source. So if you wanna help contribute, then the link to the GitHub is in the description if you wanna to try to figure this one out as well. So ignoring that for the time being, we can then look at a few other options that we have. The left and the right panel, we also have the potential option to make them nothing, which will make one of the panels go full screen. So I'm gonna set this to nothing and set this to the current song. And if we hit save, we can see that the song becomes the entire width of the screen. We can also set this to like the call status, say we have a lot of people in VC, or we can set this to basically anything. All right, so we're gonna reset this back to uh, say call status and song for now. Just make sure after every edit that you also hit save and then that will show your changes just like so. So moving on to the dashboard elements. We have four options here. We have notification, call controls, mini call, and background thumbnail. 
Uh, let's just switch these around a little bit. And if we save showing all of them, we can now see that the background is currently the current thumbnail and the call is currently popped out, letting us move it around. Uh, this will show whoever's currently talking and switch out the top one with the current active person. You can also hide it just like so and kind of have it up in the corner. This is nice if you're not always in a call, but you still want it there when you enter one. Okay, so those are the four main components up here. Um, currently, the notification doesn't do anything, but I plan for that to show, well, the notifications. We can also remove like the call controls and you can see like that, they're gone and it makes it a little bit larger if you want it to be full screen. We can adjust where they show up and if we hit save, we can see that the end call button is now on the left and you can basically tailor this to however you want. The scroll to bottom button, by the way, is for the current chat, which as mentioned before is a little buggy, but expect that to be added here soon. You can also modify the speaking color. So if we make this blue and say I expand the call here real quick, you can see whenever I talk, it's going to be blue around the outside instead of the typical like discord green color. Um, there's also this clock that is up there. You can move it to be like top left or top right or even a custom position like by dragging it around the screen. Or if you don't like it, you can just fully disable it. And with that, I believe that's everything that we have for today. Join the Discord to influence what is added next with the polls, or you can check out the podcast that I was just in with Unnamed RE, where we covered basically the entire story of desk thing. I would highly recommend giving them some love and checking that out if you're curious to see where this all came from and how you could potentially help in the future. All right, that's all for now. I'll see you next time.